My name is Vivian Hirschfield. I'm a watercolorist. Today I'm going to show you a salt water technique. Over here I have some underwater paintings. In these two paintings that you see over here I did use salt to help me create a coral effect. You can see over here that there are some interesting effects caused by the salt as there is over here. The next, the, actually one of the beginning stages is over here where you can see when the paper is dried how the salt absorbs the color. I will demonstrate how I actually apply the salt. Okay, now I've wet my 300 pound cold pressed paper on both sides. It's really soaked and juicy. You can see that the water wants to flow right off the page. Now I'm going to add my paint, which is fresh paint, that I put out on my palette, which is nice and juicy. I'm applying the paint, and as you see, it's starting to run. Don't apply the paint too dark, because you're going to work on it later, and this way you have more values to work with later on. So I'm just applying colors that I think would look really good on an underwater kind of painting. And all this kind of flowing and streaking I think just enhances the way the painting will look later. Don't worry if you don't get exactly what you want because you have a lot of painting to do later. You see it just flowing nice and juicy. And I'm just adding color like that. I suppose you're imagining how will this ever look like an underwater painting. But I guarantee you it will. So I'm just going to continue adding my color here and then the paper has to dry a little before I can add the salt. Okay, as you see, the paper still has a kind of a sheen on it. I just waited a few minutes till the paper was absorbing all the color and it looks like it's really nice now to add the salt. As you can see, I have some kosher salt in my hand and you may ask why use kosher salt. Well, kosher salt has larger crystals than regular table salt, so it works a lot better. Now you select where you put your salt. You just don't put it randomly everywhere. You give it a little thought, like I would think over here that it would look very good. And you see how it's already starting to absorb the color. Add some over here. Maybe a little bit down here. Maybe some over here. Now if you recall, in the beginning of my demonstration, I showed what it looks like when it's done. A lot of these areas are going to be eaten up by the salt and turn white. Anyway, please visit my website, VivianHirschfield.com, where I have a lot of other finished paintings. Thank you.